Welcome to the magical world of the Gingerbread Village by Epicure. Housed at City Gallery on Swanston Street this December, the talented chefs from Epicure have built an entire village out of gingerbread. Dennis Karacha speaks to us about his inspiration behind building such an amazing village. It always has been a dream of mine to use, be able to use our skills as pastry chefs in a way that it could make a difference in one way or the other. Creating a gingerbread village for the festive season seemed like the perfect opportunity for us to do so. We knew it was going to be a huge challenge for us. We knew we had to create something that people from all over Melbourne would come and want to see. So we started thinking, thinking about what would make our gingerbread village special. And that's when we had the idea to include some of Melbourne's most iconic venues, like the Melbourne Town Hall, the MCG, or even the Arts Centre. And of course there had to be something for the kids. So we thought we should bring a castle in, perhaps a chocolate waterfall like in Willy Wonka, a train that goes around. And it took us a lot to get there, more than 120 kilos of gingerbread. 90 kilos of royal icing, 24 kilos of mazepan, and hours of work. On top of all this gingerbread, we installed more than 1,000 LED lights, 30 meters of rail rail line, and we used about 25 kilos of liquid chocolate in our chocolate waterfall. And of course, I couldn't have done it all by myself. I had a huge brigade of chefs here from the pastry kitchen at Epicure helping me, as well as support from Holmes Glen TAFE and some volunteers from hotels in and around Melbourne. My favourite part of the village and certainly the part that I was more, most passionate about was the Christmas market. I've always been dreaming of creating a village where I actually can get a market in with all these details, with little bananas, little hams, little cheese, a cake shop. One of the cake shops actually has my name on it. Just when we thought we were finished, we were challenged by creating hundreds of different figurines, which included a brigade of chefs, a whole cricket team, Santa Claus and his reindeers, of course. Building of the whole project commenced about two or three months ago at the MCG in the pastry kitchen there. We had to build it into different modules so it would be later than easy for us to transport it actually to the town hall. And finally the big day came, the day of installing the village at the town hall. We had a team of five chefs pretty much going the whole day back and forward from the MCG to the town hall. It took us about six or seven trips. The finishing bits and pieces on the village took us pretty much the whole afternoon. Giving it the final touches, perfecting the last bits of icing and put all the little figurines in place. It was certainly very exciting after all this hard work seeing it coming together. This Christmas, Epicure are supporting the Starlight Children's Foundation. Collection tins are available at the exhibition and Epicure ask that you donate a gold coin when you come to see the Gingerbread Village, with all donations going towards the Starlight Wish Granting Program. This program grants once-in-a-lifetime wishes for seriously ill children. When you make your donation, you'll receive a cardboard gingerbread man which you can hang on the Christmas tree. Epicure's aim is to have the Christmas tree full of gingerbread men by the 24th of December. Looking for something for the kids to do while walking around the exhibition? Then don't miss the fun kids activities when you arrive. Let your kids test their observation skills as they pass by each gingerbread monument. And if you're feeling peckish for some delicious gingerbread treats, why not pick up a gingerbread man or gingerbread love heart? We've also got gingerbread house and tree kits that you can take home and make yourself. What better way to keep the festive spirit alive long after you've left the exhibition? We look forward to seeing you at the City Gallery, 90 Swanston Street in Melbourne. For more information, please go to our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash gingerbreadvillage. If you'd like to make a donation to the Starlight Children's Foundation, please go to www.starlight.org.au. Until next time, have a very Merry Christmas.